Hey there, welcome back to Lead Coding. Today we are here with a very famous interview question called Majority Element. We are going to solve the problem using three approaches. Starting from the basic solution to the most optimized one. So please watch the complete video. The problem description is we are given n elements and we have to return the element which is the majority element. An element is called majority if it occurs more than n by 2 times. So the very first thing that we can do is we can keep the count of each of these elements and we can return the one for which the count is greater than n by 2. Now it is given that there always exists a majority element and we also know that there could only be one majority element if it exists. So we are going to use unordered map here. We will go through each of the elements in nums and we will increment the count corresponding to that and if at any time the count of an element becomes greater than n by 2 we are going to return that as the answer let us try to run this it got accepted talking about the time complexity is it is big of n because we are traversing through all the n elements now talking about the space complexity we are using a map there and let us say that there are n elements and out of n n by 2 plus 1 at least these many are majority element and these are same so the distinct element is 1 now there remains n by 2 minus 1 which are non majority element and in the worst case all of them could be different so there are n, n by 2 minus 1 unique or distinct elements so in total we will be having n by 2 distinct element and they will all have a separate entry in the map that we are using so the space complexity is big O of n by 2 which is big O of n so this is the space and the time complexity of the solution now let us look about the next solution that we have so let us say that we have certain elements and these elements are 1 2 3 3 and 3 now 3 is the majority element in this very clearly now if we sort this array we will be having 1 2 3 3 and 3 now 3 is coming n by 2 plus 1 times one of the 3 is coming at the center as well so if we have a window of n by 2 plus 1 size as we know that if we sort them we will be having all the elements which are majority element as a group we will be having all of them as consecutive elements now there will be a window of size n by 2 plus 1 so wherever this window goes inside the given array one of the element is going to remain at the center so if it is the array that we have and if this is the window and if it is the center there will always be one element that corresponds to the center so wherever this window moves inside the given array one element will always remain at the center from the majority element if we sort them so what we can do is we can simply sort nums and then we can return nums of n by 2 talking about the time complexity it is n log n because of the sort function that we have 
the space complexity in this case is big of 1 it is a constant space solution as we are not using any auxiliary space now let us move to the third solution that we have and it is a tricky one we are going to take the same example again it is 3 1 2 3 3 now in this algorithm we will have two variables the first one is a candidate a candidate which could be the majority element and the votes that this candidate have so initially the candidate is 3 and the number of the votes that it have is 1 when we move further as we see that the number 1 is not the same as candidate so the votes are going to reduce for 3 1 is going to cancel the votes for 3 now the votes for 3 will become 0 as the votes become 0 the candidate now will change now the candidate will become 1 and vote will again become 1 that is its own vote when it goes to 3 again the candidate will be 2 and the vote will be 1 now it when, when it goes to 3 the candidate is 3 again and the vote is 1 and again when it is going to 3 the candidate is still 3 and the number of votes are 2 now till the end as 3 remains the candidate it is the answer now if it was not given that the majority element always exist so in that case we will have to verify that if the candidate is actually the majority element so for that we will have the candidate and we will have to count the occurrences of the candidate in the given array once again so as to verify it but it is given that the majority element always exists so we don't have to do the verification so always listen to the question that the interview is telling you if they are saying that it is given that the majority element always exists then you can simply return the candidate and if they want us to know if that element exists or not then we will have to verify it again now why does this algorithm work so basically we are cancelling out the votes for a specific number so if a number occurs more than n by 2 plus 1 time it will be that number which will remain as the candidate till the end why is it so so let us say that if we have one element as the majority element and the next one as a non majority element so the votes for 3 is going to be cancelled by 1 again a majority element and a non majority element so at any time the vote will fluctuate between 1 and 0 1 and 0 and at the end we will be having one vote for the candidate as there are n by 2 plus 1 candidates so in the worst case we will be having that many votes if you want to go through the formal proof of this algorithm then I will provide the link in the description you can go and read that out otherwise you can simply use it so now let us try to solve the problem using same algorithm in the code so there's a candidate which is C and there are votes going for each number if votes are 0 then this number is going to be candidate and if the candidate is equal to A then we have to increment V otherwise we have to decrement V at the end we have to return the candidate let us try to submit this it is giving us correct answer in this case also we are not using any extra space the space complexity in this solution is big of 1 and the time complexity is also big of n so this is the most optimal solution that we can have it is called Morse algorithm and for this problem it is the most optimized one now the proof of this algorithm I will provide it in the description although you don't have to go through it if you don't want but those who are interested can go through the proof so this is it for the solution if you like the video 
please subscribe to the channel please share it with as many people as possible which might benefit from this and keep watching other playlists as well thank you